Monotype is a form of competitive single Pokemon where all Pokemon must share a type. This unique format leads to a variety of interesting builds where teams not only aim to cover each other's weaknesses, but aim to cover as many opposing types as possible. While many people would brush it off as a coin flip tier, the reality is much more nuanced. With proper team building and enough experience, players will learn that just because the matchup on paper may look utterly favored, the games themselves are not so simple. To illustrate this point, let's take a look at the Fairy vs. Dark matchup, two of the most common types within the current gen. While Fairy has a variety of hardening attackers such as Fluttermane, Azumarill, and Iron Valiant, all with access to powerful stab Fairy type moves, Dark teams have excellent ways of playing around these Pokemon. Tinglu is excellent for the matchup, with Heavy Slam it can Oko Fluttermane and beat Hatterene one on one most of the time. With Hatterene dealt with, or the opposing player afraid to switch it in, Tinglu can begin setting hazards in the form of Stealth Rock and Spikes. Once hazards are set, the Dark player can keep up constant offensive pressure through the likes of Greninja and Chia and Pao, while being supported by King Gambit who is excellent in the matchup with access to Iron Head. Scarf Meowskari can oftentimes clean up the can oftentimes clean up the matchup, being faster than everything on the type bar the uncommon choice Scarf Fluttermane and clicking Flower Trick, a move unaffected by the potential re reflect set by Klefki. This just describes one example of how Monotype is not a coin flip tier, but rather a nuanced format that lends itself to good playing and building as much as any other tier. Alright, is it sounding good so far? Hopefully I've convinced you to play. Getting into any new tier can be daunting, but with the resources I'm, I'm about to go over, hopefully you'll get a good idea of what is available to help you in learning this new tier. In my opinion, the best way to learn any new tier in Pokemon is to grab a team and just start playing. In this way, you'll be able to identify meta trends and build a base of knowledge for when you begin building yourself. The sample teams provide a myriad of approved teams catered to beginners that are easy to use, while the Bazaar has teams posted by any player who wants to share a team that they have built and enjoyed. Bazaar teams may be more difficult to get a grasp of, but are another option if you have tired of samples, but don't yet feel comfortable build building. The VR or Viability Rankings thread is where any new builder should start off at. Within each type folder there are ranks from S to D, the Pokemon most essential to the type being in S, while the very niche roles are seen in ranks like C and D. If you're starting out, I recommend focusing on S to B ranked Pokemon, waiting to use the more niche ones until you have some experience with the type. The speed tiers are another essential component in building a competitive team. After looking at your Pokemon's base speed tier, you can see exactly how many EVs are needed to outspeed a threat you may be interested in outpacing. For example, King Gambit generally wants to be faster than Corviknight. If we look here, we can find King Gambit in the 136 speed tier, assuming no investments, while Corviknight hits 170. This means we want King Gambit to hit 171. If we look in the builder, we can slide the speed EVs category to 140 to make King Gambit hit 171. The discussion is where players will talk about the current state of the meta. This can range from a variety of topics such as discussing meta trends, to giving an opinion on their type tier list, to giving an argument on why X Pokemon should be suspected. This can be a valuable resource to learn about the state of the meta and somewhere to share your own thoughts. Uh, I'm just going to combine the next few, monotype chat, ask a simple question, get a simple answer in the monotype discord. So the ask a simple question thread, exactly what it sounds like. If you have a question, go in there, somebody will get back to you. However, an option for asking questions and receiving a more timely response is the monotype chat room on Showdown. As a live chat, you can easily speak to other users in the room and ask questions ranging from simple things to requesting feedback on a team. Room tours are commonly made as a way to test out teams or just play games if you do not feel like getting on the ladder. The Monotype Discord is another option with specific channels for old gens, general chatting, and discussing tours. The Monotype Circuit is a series of tours occurring throughout the year that each award a set number of points. The top 16 players with the most points proceed to a playoff stage to crown one champion. This thread shows the tour and corresponding dates that signups will go up for those interested. So there are of course some more resources out there such as Rate My Team, but I'm not going to go over absolutely everything in this video. In general, that's the, a good base of knowledge for you to get started with learning the tier and learning to build teams. So yeah, that's my pitch for Monotype, and I hope the video was of some value to any newcomers watching. If you're interested in playing, I highly recommend trying out some sample teams and checking out the Mono chat room on Showdown to start out. 
I'm on all the time as Azik and happy to help anyone out. See you all soon.